Hello people, I got something to tell you about again. Today is CEO Yak, uh, my new favorite PDF viewer. Friendship ended with Sephora, now CEO Yak is my best friend. So, yeah, both of them side by side. I used to use Sephora for two, two years maybe, since I started doing Linux stuff. I initially saw it, uh, I initially saw Luke Smith using it. It seemed really cool. I was coming from well, reading PDFs just in Firefox, so obviously that was better. And it's also just nice that it is a PDF viewer. It does nothing else. It's It shows you PDFs. That's what it's there for and that's what it's good at. And doing that in a very minimal fashion. And I always liked that. It's a good program. But one thing that I've always found missing was being able to highlight stuff uh, and also kind of a lack of new features. That's inherently nothing bad, but I like new features, so I'm always happy when I get them, at least when they're good and most projects don't disappoint. Yeah, so in nature it's comparable to Sephora. It tries to do the same thing, just better, I guess, in a different way, and with another mindset to approach it with. Uh, Sephora is very fast. It's written in C. COEAC is written in C too. And that's a good thing. That means it's also fast, and it really is. Uh, but let me talk about the program, not just Oh, it's written in an old language, it's fast. No, let, let, let me talk about different things. So here you first see the side-to-side -side comparison. On the left you got Syriac, on the right you got Sephora, both inverted right now. If we not invert them, then it's way too bright, that's for sure. Uh, and the first thing that maybe comes to your attention in white, they both look pretty much the same, but inverted, all of Sephora's colors go missing. That's nothing I ever minded, but when I saw Seal Yake does it in another way uh, and just applies a shader on the white colors or something else, I forgot, I watched over it with a friend, that's what he said. Uh, yeah, it's cool. Uh, like here, I know, you don't notice too much, nothing stands out too much but if you watch that here you see red little annotations because that's how I configured hyperref to show links in red in, in latte and that's handy here and there for example to see oh that's not an exponent that's a footnote because with oh because I haven't gotten it that's why is it the same okay I it's a math mode, math mode footnote. I haven't really gotten them. You have to do footnote mark, footnote text. And I was in a hassle because I was writing it in a lecture. So could fix that, will not fix that. You get the point, you see nice color things. So that's the first good thing that I like about it. Uh, another thing is that it's nicely key mappable. Uh, key mappable means you take every program that exists and put Vim bindings on it. So that's just what I did with Sephora. Uh, initially I think I got Luke Smith's config and he just did the same. And now with CUEAC2. So let me show you that. Let's start with... Let's start with this side of the screen. Here you see a file in home, comma, optional pdf.nix. So it's a part of my NixOS configuration, that's how I configure CVEG. First I enable it, then I make it uh, the default PDF viewer, and I also install it, which is useless because I enable it, but that's not what you need to see. Here are the bindings, that's what you need to see. Uh, but to make it more simple, that's my .config slash CVEG slash user.config, and here you see how you have to write the key maps. Given you have not been enlightened yet and don't use NixOS. 
Sorry to hear that. Wishing you the best, you'll get there. Uh, so you see, move down J, move up K. Reasonable. You have screen down and up on D and U, like Wim does it with Control D and Control U, uh, which is most helpful because it just makes life better. You cannot just press J's and G's. That's You need D and U here and there. So that's a good thing. You got SyncTech and a cursor. You need that. You don't need that. It it's it makes life with LaTeX better, but that's not the point here. I digress. Uh, you got the dark mode on I. That's how I had it in Zephyra. So that's also how I have it in Syriac. You can toggle more SyncTech sync tech things. You can toggle the status bar. You have a two-page mode and you can zoom. Uh, yeah, obviously you can zoom. Uh, let us start with the two-page mode because. The two page mode is in both programs one thing that I really admire because give you have a PDF, it's in the best case it's A4 and not letter, but same thing applies, it doesn't fit on your screen. Like you can do, uh, you can think I'll watch the whole page, and then you watch the whole page, and then you have big black here, big black here. That's not what you want. You can zoom. But then it's too big and I, I hope you're not blind. Could be helpful if you are. I'm not. Uh, mostly I just use the two page mode. And if you want to find something that's... You can also just do slash and search for Beispiel, which means example. Uh, that would also work. But yeah, you can just overfly the document, zoom out, just See what's going on. That's really handy. So two-page mode, one thing I'm always excited about. But let me show you other cool key bindings. So one key binding that I really like is H. Uh, or we need to start another way. First, we mark something, then we press H, and then we press any letter to give it a color. Again, H and U, it's yellow. We mark it, we press H and G, it's green. Uh, you can highlight and say H and W and it's red, I think. And yeah, you see it, oh, you see it better in white mode, but yeah. And that's cool if you can highlight things. You cannot do that in Sephora. So that's already an improvement. But it gets even better. You can press V and it shows you a whole bunch of key maps. Not key maps, just codes, I could say. What you can do here is, let's say we want to take this line, uh, the second thing here. Uh, I want to mark from EB, so write EB space, until the end of the line, which is PB. You press enter, you have it highlighted, you can again press HL to mark it in yellow. And that way, you can just go here, JG, LG, and highlight a sandwich lemma because that's important. How would you find converging series without that? And that's the first feature I was happy about, to see that you don't have to use a mouse. That's always good. You don't want to use a mouse. Just use the tiling window manager and, <coughs> and map your programs well. Everything will work out, life will be better. The next thing that I liked a lot was bookmarks. Bookmarks is just we see a site here and you press B. Then a little window appears which has bookmark text. Here it's just, uh, how's it called? Just a repetition of something we did earlier. So I can say repetition, press enter and it's saved. If I then press GB, I have a list of bookmarks to select from. So let me just go to another one. Here I stopped reading, that's a useful bookmark. But let us go back to the repetition and we are back again. You can also go back with backspace uh, to the different lo locations you were at. Uh, but that's, yeah, that's another cool feature, but you want bookmarks too, because you don't want to think, huh, was I five views or 10 views away? How often do I have to press backspace? That's Pretty useless, you don't need that. Or you, you need it here and there, not always. You get the point. 
Other things it has, as I said before, a sync tag, which is useful if you write a lot of logic. It seems to be under active development. There come features occasionally, which is good. Have never seen it. It probably happened, but I haven't seen it in the time I used Sephora. I didn't notice it. That's what I mean to say. You have a lot of different things. If you just press colon, it gives you all the options. And you can see there are a lot of options which you can all which you can all key map. A lot of them are, but most aren't because most people probably don't need them. So if you just search for toggle and underscore, you see the things you can toggle. For example, you could toggle fast read. Uh, that why does it do that? Uh, that just highlights. Oh yeah, it doesn't work too well in the dark mode, but you get the point. It just highlights the start of every word because people seem to think you can read faster with that. I don't, so I disable it. You can also toggle the status bar, smooth scroll mode, show last commands, the scroll bar. Typing mode highlights full screen, everything you could think of. And if you search without toggle, there are also a lot of stuff. So there are also portals, which are an interesting concept, but I haven't found a use for that myself yet. If you want to check more of it out, just go to their website. They tell you a lot of things here. But I showed you the things I use most of the time, the things that I find interesting, uh, and the ones that are important to me, that I already use in Sephora, and I'm now using again because they make life better. So that's about it. I encourage you to use it, to give it a try, to press column and see what all is available and to customize it to your needs. If you come from Sephora, just give it all the binds you had in Sephora and you won't even really feel a difference. That's about it for today. It should be the 1st December of tomorrow. So I hope you have a nice advent and a nice Christmas. Bye.